Hi everyone, it's been a while, but I wanted to share a video of a sort of flip through and opening of all of ATS's Japan albums. ATS had three comebacks, Shift the Map, Map to Answer, and their most recent one, Into the A to Z. So ATS always has two versions of their CDs. The top row is the regular version, which just comes with a CD, and the bottom is their more limited one that comes with a DVD. Both come with photo cards, and I'll kind of go into details of each one specifically as I kind of flip through and open. But if you want to fast forward to specific ones, I'll have the timestamp below so you can just watch those. So I will also be showing the photo cards, so stay tuned for that, and we'll get started. So we'll start off with Ship the Map, which is their first ever Japan release. This came out, I believe, November-ish of 2019. Um, we'll get into it. So this is the Z version. This just comes with a CD, no DVD, and this is the track list. It's a very nice orange kind of color. And we'll get into the photo book. They look so good. I love orange and blue color combinations. So this Japan release was really nice for me. And you know, Utopia is also my favorite AT song. So the fact that this concept really just mirrors that music video is quite nice. And then this little card thing for AT Me Fan Club if you're from Japan. And some credits. And that's pretty much it. And I do have some photo cards to share. So for this version, there are nine possible photo cards you can get. You can either get a group, which looks like this, or an individual member. So I have Hong Joon here, and the backs are like this. These, I believe, are still in print, so if you do buy this album, you'll be able to get the photo cards in here. Next up, we have the limited or A version, which has a DVD. And I just keep it in its plastic wrap because it's nice like that. So it had this outer plastic sleeve like this. And there's the track, the very same one as the orange version. And it came with postcards, which are, um, I don't have them out, but they're in my binder, so I'll get that right now. So this version came with these jackets. Um, I think it still does come with these jackets, so you can change basically the cover of the CD case. So we have Hong Jung Sola, Yu no Yo Sang, San Migi, and Woo Young and Jung Ho. So those are what those look like. Okay, back to this album. This is basically the second concept that they have in the Utopia music video, the all white and blue. I really love this one. So you have the DVD here and the CD here. And we'll take a look at the photo book. Has the same little postcard from the last one. So we do. I'm like torn about which one I like more. I think it's pretty even. Because ATs usually do very dark and intense concepts, so seeing them in this all white with the blue is really nice. the credits at the end. So there's that one. And then in terms of photo cards, it's the same sort of situation. You can get a single member. I have your songs over here. Or you could get a group, which looks like this. Here is their second comeback. This is Treasure EP Map to Answer, which also has two versions. Um, what's interesting about these is they did something different. The photo cards are only first pressed. So if you were to buy these, warning, they're not going to come with photo cards anymore. Um, so if you were to collect photo cards, you'd have to find them secondhand. Most of the map still has them. So that's the sad thing, but 
it's fine. We'll start off with the easy version. So this is the red one with only um, a CD in it. These are the tracks. A little less than Shift the Map, but still very impactful. There is the CD. And we'll look at the toy look. So this is still the little side thing that comes with it. There's that. Home Zoom. I love this concept. It suits them really, really well. I like the plaid sort of theme going on throughout all the outfits. Oh, Mingi. His red hair with the red background just looks so good. And a group shot, which I'm glad we got because we didn't get that in the last one. I think it was just the cover. So there is this version. And same situation, you can either get a group card or a single member. I still have Hongjoong. As you can tell, I collect Hongjoong and Yosung in my biases. So those are these cards, but this is what they would all look like. So just the same exact photo. Next is the A version. This is the special one with a DVD as well. This front, same track. It's just the extra side of the movie parts. And then there's the CD. It's kind of the same. I think it is the same. And then the DVD is black. And we'll get into the photo book. The outline, um, or sort of layout is pretty much the same. This concept's super clean. They look so nice. This, you know. Sun. Mingi. Mingi looked really good. I love his red hair. William and Jungle. And then the group photo. And then more credits. And the photo cards. Here is the group photo card. And we have Yosung's individual photo card. And just so you can see them all together, this is both Shift the Map and Map to Answer. They kept very similar themes for how they did the photo card and also the album, which they kind of changed up in their most recent one. So I just want to show you this because they're all very similar. And we'll move on to the most recent one. So here is their most recent Japan comeback into the A to Z. They stuck with the whole one version without a DVD and one with. Um, which is nice, and unfortunately Mingi's not in this one because of his short hiatus, so just keep that in mind. There's gonna be seven photo cards to collect here, and 14. There's no group photo cards this time, and this one has one set per member, and this one has two sets per member, so that's why there's 14 and 7, so... I believe this one will still have photo cards even past first press, but the regular version is only first press photo cards. So if you buy this, don't expect a photo card anymore. So here is the limited version. This one comes with a DVD, and these are the tracks, and also what's on the DVD. They did really good. I love this photo shoot. It's so ethereal and beautiful. So it has this outer case, like that, and here is the CD and DVD. This is the CD and this is the DVD. Nice blue and white theme going on. And we'll get into the photo book. I love this concept. I think this is one of my favorite concepts we've ever done. I think Japan albums are so nice in terms of their photo cards and the photo shoot as well. I just wish the photo book was thicker, but Hongju. They have very faded photos in the limited version. As you can see, it's kind of like there's a fog over them. Very pretty. Ah, Utopia. I personally think Inception sounds so good in Japanese. I don't know why. It just, it, it like hits different. <laughs> Young. 
And then here's the fan club thing. Jungle. And still here. I like cried <laughs> when I first listened to still here. It's so good. And my only complaint again is that there was no group photo. I would love like a widespread. I really like that about Map Dancer. And the photo card I got for this is Yuno's. So they have two versions. There's one where they're wearing white outfits and one where they're wearing um, like colorful suits. So I got the white version of Yuno. And this is the back. So just a short comparison. Um, same size, same quality. Um, it's just they diverged from like that same back because all of the ones from before had that same backing. So I like that they switched it up. And I really like that they kept the size. Um, selfie photo cards are always really nice too, so I like this change. Last up is the regular version of Into the A to Z. So this only comes with a CD. Same track. This one has a very kind of yellowy, um, like a very pastel yellow and a dark blue theme going on. And this one is only one type of photo card per member, so... Only seven to collect if you collect all of them. So these photos are still in the white outfits. They took photos in suits, but I think that was specifically for, um, what is it? For their 18 version, which I will do an unboxing once I get it. I actually prefer this photo book more, I think. But the limited edition one is really nice with the pastel blue. I think it's funny that this one's first press and the limited isn't, unless I'm wrong. But based off of CD Japan, that's what it looks like. So these PCs are going to get very expensive <laughs> very quick. Um, but yeah. So there's the regular version. For the photo card for this one, I have Hong Joon's. And the back is a different color. It matches this version. So that's really nice. So that was a flip through through all of AT's Japan albums. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll be posting some more videos soon. Uh, hopefully my photo card <laughs> update will um, be up soon. But yeah, hope you guys have a nice day and thanks for watching. Bye!